Creators of dreamscapes at the Gateway never would have predicted their immersive art exhibit would be so popular with more than 150,000 visitors to date. Yeah, that's a lot. And that doesn't mean changes aren't on the way as a popular festival kicks off tonight. New special Sandra Adams now with the story. As the Illuminate Festival kicked off outside, it couldn't help but feel surreal inside, a couple doors down. It was a complete circle, and so it was a two-day experiment as part of Illuminate to see what it would be like to create an immersive art experience here in Salt Lake City. This is what the experiment became. You cross the threshold of the moon and you're now in dreamscapes, which is kind of like a dream land. Immersed within an old clothing store. Sometimes it's beautiful, sometimes it's confusing. <laughs> dreamscapes is an exhibit that speaks to all the senses. Each room you kind of have a different experience, a different emotion is kind of what we're trying to create um, out of that experience. So. Derek Dyer says not bad for repurposed materials inside a repurposed space. There's about 100 people that were involved with it in one way or another. Definitely a lot of work and a lot of love has been put into this. The crowds have loved in return. I like the artists like really worked hard on it. Um, and I really love that because I can see like the dedication and all of the things that have gone into it. But even the best of dreams come to an end. How long does the exhibit stay up for? The last day is, uh, is Sunday. Fortunately for dreamscapes, it's just time to evolve. Yeah, we're going to be moving. Uh, we're getting a bigger space, and so the next uh, version of dreamscapes is going to be about three times as big as this space, so we're excited about that. This weekend, it'll be a sentimental goodbye for now to a place where thousands have now left their own mark. I want to make people feel worthy and loved. There's a lot of very inspirational and moving moving things that people leave in here so the people here say words like those are very illuminating we do believe that art makes the world a better place and we're trying to actively do that get in touch with the magic of of life again a little bit i think andrew adams kissel 5 news andrew thank you again last day at the gateway is sunday the yet to be announced new location is expected to open sometime in the spring